Welcome to the channel everyone. Uh, today I've got this uh, JEGS uh, engine stand. Just picked this thing up. Uh, it was on sale. Uh, usually it's like over $400 and it was like $320 uh, something. Um, I actually think they raised the price now. It's closer to $400 but it's still under $400. I will leave a link uh, if you guys want to go grab one before they raise it to uh, over 400 again. But this is a, uh, like I said, JEGS. Uh, it's actually a 1,500 pound uh, capacity and it has the, the crank uh, to, to uh, rotate the engine. Um, so this should really, really be a nice, nice engine stand. Um, like I said, 1,500 pounds. Uh, I think this is actually uh, rated at 2,000 pounds without the, the hand crank, the gear, gear driven uh, rotation deal on it. Uh, apparently the gear is the limit on the weight. Um, you guys have probably seen this engine stand. This is the one I was using uh, for the big block. Actually I've used this for quite a few engines but um, this has got a rating of uh, 750 pounds and that big block is probably all of 700 pounds fully dressed especially with the with the iron heads uh, when when I put that engine on this stand I mean you should have seen this thing bowl with the weight um, yeah it, it, it the, the it held it I mean the it held the and I rolled it around and everything but uh, really not made for for that big heavy engine. Uh, it, it it handles this this small block uh, aluminum headed small block actually with ease, um, and it really this thing rolls around really nice. It's got the wide the 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 wide wheels or whatever the, the four wheels, so it's pretty stable and everything. So this this works out for a a, a small block. But um, I'm eventually probably going to have to take that engine uh, off that stand, the big block. And I don't really want to put it on this one again. I just, I mean, it was crazy how much this, I'm not sure what gave, but something on here just bowed with the weight of that motor. So, uh, like I said, pick this up. This should be a really nice stand for, for just about any engine that we we need to put it on. So I'm going to get it unboxed here. We're going to start putting it together. See what we got. Okay, so not a ton of parts here. Um, I will say that I've noticed a lot of this and the, the powder coat actually is, looks very thin um, and actually looks, it don't look very good at all. Uh, the powder coat and everything. So this might get, uh, if I ever get the ambitious and there's nothing on this stand. Uh, I may uh, repaint it, but it is what it is. There's actually six wheels on this thing uh, because it actually folds up. I'll show you that once we get it. Uh, a little bit of an instruction manual there, bag of bolts. So I'm gonna start getting this together. Should be pretty straightforward.
Okay, so pretty painless so far. Uh, the wheels with the with the one stud on them uh, go right here, and then you've got four other wheels with uh, four smaller bolts that go on this side, and then you got another set that go on there. So pretty painless, like I said. Um, I am noticing more and more uh, welding spatter and stuff all over this that all they needed to do was hit this with the sander and they didn't. But it is what it is. I'm going to continue on here. Okay, so I put my main piece up on there. You got two big bolts that bolt it down. Then you've got these side uh, support pieces right here. And those aren't even close to being bent right. They come like this and they're almost flat. So I put it in the vise and I bent uh, each end quite a bit more to be able to fit that um, where they want them. Because the, the direction is so on the outside uh, to there. So I got to bend this one here and we'll get that on there and we'll, we'll We'll tighten all these bolts down. Okay, so I've got this thing together. I've got these legs uh, in here and they, they actually just slide in. You just slide the legs in there. And then they are held in place with these nuts welded here and then these bolts uh, tighten up against them. Um, not the best thing because there's already there's so much going on right here. Uh, this one you can get a wrench on it and tighten it. This one here is so close to this bolt here that you can't even get a wrench on there. It's tight. The bolt's pretty tight and the leg can still come out. Now I read a few reviews about these and they said some people said their legs fell out and their engine fell over or whatever. And I can see how if you're not paying attention and you tighten that up you thought it was tight. It wasn't and it comes out so I'm, I may change that up. I really don't like that at all. But um, the legs actually come out and they go uh, in here uh, for storage like that. That's kind of how it folds up. So it doesn't take up a whole lot of space once it's folded up, but I don't like it. I don't like it how they secure them, but I'm going to get uh, the rest of these legs tightened up here and we'll, we'll go over the thing one last time. Okay, so there it is. Got uh, little, the little the arms here on there. Make sure your bigger, thicker washers are on this side of the the uh, little adapter things. Uh, one more gripe about this. Um, you can see that's loose right there. These bolts are loose. I didn't do that. That's the way it came and it's, it's flopping all around. So I'm going to, I'm going to retighten them. Um, probably give this thing some grease while I've got it. You can see how thin the powder coat is right there. Um, yeah, it uh, spins really good uh, with nothing on it. I don't have an engine to put on it yet, but uh, eventually I will. I'll put something on it and we'll come back to this, but it seems to roll pretty good, so yeah, pretty happy with it, guys. play in the head there. I've heard that you can take this 
cover off or take it apart and add a shim if you want that out of it. I think that grease shirt is loose. Everything on this thing is loose. So that's the stand all folded up. It's actually very small. Uh, it folds up a little differently than this one. This one here, uh, you, you uh, pull your, your bolt out right there. And then it, you kind of really, there's, there's nowhere to, uh, to, it doesn't like fold up or nothing. So it, you got to almost like hang that one up. So I guess this is better design. It's got more wheels, so it's a little easier to kind of fold it up there, but yeah, we'll see you guys. Like I said, I'll get probably that big block on this eventually. Uh, I'll come back to it and we'll see how she does or I'll get something else. I'll get something on it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, the, little, the little engine stand assembly video. I'll see you guys.